Morning everyone. Uh, today is Saturday. I can't remember the actual date, but it's a Saturday. Um, so the last few days we've had the car start in the morning. Um, a friend came from the Mark Career Owners Club and gave me a hand trying to getting things sorted out and getting in the right order. So what I am going to do today is tidy up the wiring loom which you saw from the alternator. And it's only going to be with zip ties for now. The wires do need cutting back, um, but it's just a case of tidying it up so they don't get caught in the way. And uh, yeah, it will be adjusted later. It's just so I can have it looking a bit more neat. So I've got a load of little zip ties. So we'll start. Well, we need to go on. So what I'm going to do, I want wiring feeding around the back of the engine along with the other cables. So I think I will have to pull the wires back through and yeah, try and feed them underneath there. But then again, actually, no, if I just feed them around the front temporarily, because I have ordered some um, grey insulation tape, which is really what is needed to make it look all uniform and factory, even though it's not. Okay, that's um, exhaust manifold. The bolts are wrong, so they need to come off. I need to get um, brass ones in, in place of them. And I also need to check the gaskets because it is blowing. go that's looking a bit brown on there and they're not looking that's quite loose that one let's go further back that one looks just as bad and the one at the back has got brown on it as well and it doesn't look like it's you know it's coming away but it looks grotty so I'm gonna get them off and give the surface a clean. Um, right, okay, so let's try and peel one of these off. Well, that's come off easy. That was definitely not new, that one. Let's get this one off. Oh, that's been stuck on there for a while, that one. That doesn't want to move. Oh, there we go, loosened it. These picks are really, really useful. If you don't have a set of picks and you're working on a car or a bike 
or anything like that, get a set. It's such a useful tool kit to have. I didn't realise how useful they were until I bought some. Just don't use them for picking anything else. Yeah, they, those uh, gaskets aren't very nice. But so the, the surface where they meet looks clean, but the rest of it is disgusting. Well, I've cleaned off the surfaces uh, where the new gaskets, gaskets are going to go. Uh, it will need an extra clean and wipe down, um, but what I'm going to do is get the rocker cover off, clean that all up as well, and install a new cork gasket. Okay, so there we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. That gasket has seen better days. Look at that. That's, that is completely broken. Sorry about the noise in the background, there's lorries. It's a busy road. Look at that, I just lifted it off and it's completely broken. Found a tub of grease. Okay, so let's get this plastic open. Had this thing for absolutely months. That is open. Okay, what I'm going to do, because I'm uh, watching uh, Pete's video of uh, Ashes one being done, I think, well, I'm going to put a smear of grease in here and then I'm going to put a gasket in and then I'll put a smear of grease on the other, on the mating face and then put it in the engine bay. Whether this is right, I hope so. Well, it should be a good sealant with a bit of grease in there because uh, oil is really not going to get past grease, is it? Because grease has a, a thicker viscosity to it. I need to find an extra bolt as well, I need to remember that. Of course, if I stick some grease in here, it's going to help the gasket stick. So that does make sense. I've never used a cork, ga cork gasket before. So that's uh, a new thing. And even the bikes um, never had a cork gasket, it was always metal. wipe hands before I put the uh, new gasket on. Okay, so I'm guessing we'll join the two together, the two ends. I'm just going to just double check to see everything lines up okay. Yeah, I think so. Let's put that end in first. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, you can.
Doesn't seem to want to fit in there. I went in with a prod. That's certainly not going to fall out. slightly bent out of shape as well which is unfortunate some part of it part of the well not the gasket sorry the uh, the rocker is splayed out there so I might get a little hammer and just tap it straight oh it's even got little little ones in there look you can see that it's got little tags there which uh, go in Let's push that one in there. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm hooking one part of it in and then hooking the other bit in. So when it goes into that corner there, the bolts will pull it all in tight because that's, that's pulling it up on that corner you can't see that corner is kind of pulling up so when the bolt goes in it's gonna it's gonna trap it and make it go into position oh the new ends just come off well maybe you're supposed to put it in one corner I think I know what's happened with the the bits where it's bolted in, um, people have done it up too tight and it's splayed the metal. Right, there we go, so it's in. Uh, just going to put some grease around the, um, the mating face and we'll go and put it on the car and I need to clean up the bolts that go in because they are filthy, absolutely filthy. So yeah, I'll clean them up, but I'll get on with this and you'll see me putting the uh, rock on the car, or the cover on the car. do now put bolts in tighten it up for some reason that hole on that side is completely covered off by the gasket so it looks like I might not need it right let's clean up them bolts and get them in
Well, today I have um, repaired the corner underneath the back seat. I don't know if you saw this plate come off, but uh, it sits there. Um, I'm just finishing off a weld in here. I need to shape this little um, piece in here. Uh, I need to do something with this. Um, section to curve so that what the cable has somewhere to go. So it's set like that. I need to curve in the wire and I need to shape the metal. How I'm not sure but I'm not sure I figure it out. Um, but that's basically all I've been doing today. Um, fabricating and welding in that section. I do have to do the other side of the car as well I believe so one thing I did remove, because um, it was causing too many problems, was the jacking marker. But the, the jacking points, um, they're not going to be used on this car, there's no point. Um, they're like, one of the, it's just a rock point, really. Anyway, I'll finish off this and uh, I'll give you a quick video of it once I'm done. And uh, yeah, um, hopefully you know, later in this video I can do the other side.
Hello! Welcome to the back of the car. Literally, I'm crouched. There's not a huge amount of space in here. Right, what you're looking at is a hole in the wheel arch. Right there. So what I'm going to do is put on my air defenders. I'm going to clean up the metal until it's nice and clean. And I'm going to find a piece of steel to go in there, in there. This is the last piece of metal which I need to replace inside the car when the, in the actual cabin. So I wanted to catch it on camera. The only other piece I do need to, cap to do is above the fuel tank and I don't really have uh, time to do that. So I mean I could do that at a later date. So let's carry on and get this done. So it is a bit pickled, as you can tell. It's a bit the hole is a bit bigger than it was. So then you get a piece of metal and see if I can get that uh, covered up. Well, oh, hit the camera with my, my welding mask. Well, piece of metal has been made up. What I've got to do is tack it in and work around it. if you can see what I'm looking at. Okay, that's not going anywhere. to work down this edge and tack it in and tap it as I go.
Oh, that smells. Oh, that's very smelly. <coughs> Just out of curiosity, what can you see? Yeah, here we go. Whoa! That was close. There's not a lot of room in here. I keep knocking over things with my welding helmet. Repaired wheel arch. A wheel tub, sorry, because the wheel arch is outside, the tub is on the inside. Now right, get the grinder on there, clean it up and weld, give it a look of paint. Alright, let's give these a clean up. I'll do. It's not pretty, I know. I keep saying that. Right. Where's the primer?
that's going to be enough. the last interior piece welded and primed then painted and let that dry and then hopefully start doing some interior work um, I will take you off the tripod just briefly so I'll show you something else I did earlier today uh, come around to this side and I repainted these sills because I'd been leaning into the car and I did some I did some painting on the inside of the sills and I got overspray and the same thing happened on that side so I've had to repaint them and then what I did I've lacquered it so it's going to take apparently according to the can 24 hours to completely harden so fingers crossed nothing touches it um, but no mark I find little bugs and stuff in it but never it's not going to be a perfect car. That's not the intention as everyone knows. Uh, one thing I have done as I've put some the, the loom in along the, its little trunking hole all the way along. I didn't have any black tapes. So I've used electrical. It does the same job. It works. And I know, yes, it's not factory. But yeah, it's my car. Um, I drilled all the holes for the trim in the, uh, there you go, little hole there and that's for the trim to be screwed in um, what I need to do first though, I need to get the B pillar trim put that on, then I can put the the door aperture trim on put these on, I think and then I can put the doors on so yeah, I'm getting there, bit by bit uh, but I do need, oh yes, I need to put the I think I can put in a tar pad in the front here but I'm still getting water in the front there's a puddle right there and I'm getting a puddle in the other corner as well so I think my windscreen seal is definitely gone it's definitely failed anyway thank you for joining me for episode um, adventure 15 sorry and um, hopefully and uh, not too distant future TC will be on the ground and not on jack stands for much longer so yes and I'll be starting him up and running him and uh, fingers crossed and get to drive it. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.